My husband doesn't even know I weigh this much. Hi guys. You're gonna have to excuse the frizzy hair and the appearance. I'm kind of put together, <laughs> but not really. It's been kind of a cleaning day today for me, but I did really want to get this video up. Right now, I'm in the thick of the party planning for my kid's birthday party, which I think I've been basically sharing that every year since I started YouTube. I haven't actually shared any of it this year, so I'll have to do a little bit of a video at some point. But my kids are born two weeks apart, so they share a birthday party in January, and um, I'm in the thick of it right now. They're having a superhero slash comic book type birthday party this year, and here comes the dog. Come on. And, and um, it's just been, oh geez, she's just gonna wag her tail this whole time. All right. Okay. And it's just been crazy getting everything ready and dealing with all my other responsibilities. I did start at a new school. I'm still doing online schooling, but I did start with a new school which I will talk about in another video. And I also still have to do my New Year's goals and resolutions video, which will be up soon. Hopefully I can get that filmed either later today or tomorrow. But I wanted to get this one out there just because I'm feeling very motivated to get it out there. I watched Amanda from It's Amanda's Life. She did this video maybe a week or two back, I'm not sure. But I watched it and I really enjoyed it because I feel like I can relate to her and I just really wanted to get my story out there and just kind of use YouTube as a way to gain accountability. Um, I don't even know where to start. I don't have any notes or anything and don't really know what I'm going to exactly say in this video but I can say one thing. I've been struggling with my weight for basically my entire life. I have always been a on the bigger side. Um, I wouldn't say that I was really overweight in high school. Um, I wasn't teeny skinny like all the other girls, but I definitely was not huge. I thought I was huge, and I would kill to go back to that body. But that's most likely not gonna happen. <sighs> really, right now, I'm extremely overweight. I'm very unhealthy. I'm struggling with a lot of health issues and my main goal right now is to get healthy. I am 265 pounds. That's right, I'm putting it out there. 265 pounds. That is about 100 pounds more than my pre-pregnancy weight and probably about I'm gonna say about 70 to 80 pounds more than what I weighed right after I had my last child, my son. And he will be six on January 28th. So it's been a while and I don't really have any excuse. Now, I'm dealing with a lot, a lot of health issues. I have, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is a, a bone cancer and it was on my knee. I just had a mass on my knee, cancerous mass on my knee. They were able to remove it uh, clear back two years ago now, but I still do have a lot of issues with my knee. Now, I need a full reconstructive surgery, and as of right now, they're saying they might be able to handle it in one surgery, but it's not a guarantee, so it might actually take two surgeries. Unfortunately for me, we've been trying to get this surgery going for a while, but my doctor doesn't feel comfortable with putting me under with the um, anesthesia until I can get the levels and the things in my blood and my blood pressure to a closer to normal spot. Now, I've always been anemic as far as I could remember. I've been anemic, so I struggle with anemia. I struggle with feeling tired all the time. I struggle with that. On top of that, I have social anxiety as well as um, depression, and I deal with these things every day. I feel like I do a pretty good job of dealing with these things as I get myself involved and I you know, get myself out there to kind of combat the anxiety and the depression and the kind of the OCD 
the OCD behavior that comes with the type of anxiety that I have. However, I'm obviously not much better in the sense of health. Now, um, well, I did lose about 10 pounds since my heaviest, heaviest weight, which was 275 about a month or so ago. And my husband doesn't even know I weigh this much. But I did lose about 10 pounds, and now I've kind of just stopped losing, and I'm kind of just stuck. And it's not a good place to be stuck. It's obviously, I'm still extremely unhealthy and extremely overweight. I am um, five six and a half, so almost five seven. And at 265, I'm definitely not in a place where I could be considered even a little bit healthy. My goal weight, really, I don't have a goal weight. Um, this might sound crazy, but I'm not really trying to go by numbers. I'm trying to go by feeling. I'm trying to go by how I feel in my body um, and where my health improves. I really don't want to be super skinny. That's never been something I've wanted. Um, I'm just not a small girl and I don't think I would look good as like a really super skinny person. I think it would look awkward um, for me, just personally with my body type. However, um, I don't feel like myself and that's probably one of the main things aside from all the health issues that I'm having and with my knee surgeries needing to be done and everything, I don't feel like myself. So. I want to get to a place where I feel like the person I am inside. Um, I don't know any way to explain this except for that sometimes I'll see myself in the mirror and I can't, I don't recognize myself. I don't realize that it's me because that's not how I feel inside. Um, I guess kind of like the saying, let the skinny girl inside out. It's kind of like that, except I just don't feel the way I look. And that's just not good. And I've, I I eat well. I try to eat very well and I try to get as much exercise as I possibly can in. Right now, um, I am only cleared to walk for 20 minutes at a time at doctor's orders and that's just a normal walk. I can't do like speed walking or jogging or running or jumping or basically anything like that because of the state of my knee. Um, and so I don't get a lot of exercise and I'm sure that that has a lot to do with my weight, but I still want to push forward. I still want to get through this. I still want to, you know, get to a place where I feel like myself and also just get to a place where I can, you know, get my knee fixed because I don't want to be this mom that has to tell my kids, Oh, I'm sorry, I can't play soccer with you today because I really can't run. And I hate having to go outside with them and they want to play something like soccer or tag or something. And they're so worried, but well, mommy can't run, mommy can't run. And I hate seeing that look in their eyes because I've never wanted to be that mom. And when they were little, before my knee problems got really, really bad, because I've suffered with knee problems basically since high school. Um, I used to do track and cheerleading and dance, and my knee just, it got really bad, um, and it's just gotten worse over time, and I'm sure gaining weight hasn't helped it. Um, and it's kind of like, I feel like it's a catch-22 for me, because gaining weight obviously hasn't helped my knee, but I don't think that I, it, I think it's also a contributing factor, my knee pain, because I just haven't been able to exercise like I would. And um, for a while we had a gym membership and I loved going to the gym and I would just do the bicycle because it's a low impact exercise, but even that has gotten really bad for my knee. Um, I would do it and then there would be days when I just couldn't walk. And I can't, there's no, um, there's no wiggle room for me to not be able to walk, especially not the way our household is run. My husband works a lot. He's very dedicated to his career. He's also in a master's degree program and he has, you know, two small businesses of which he owns and just my kids are in school and I volunteer and I'm a Girl Scouts leader and I'm a student and I'm a housewife and I'm a mom and I have a dog that needs to be walked and there's just so much there there can't be days where I can't walk it's just not possible 
So I, I know I'm rambling a lot and this probably just isn't making much sense, but I'm just trying to kind of portray to everyone what my situation is and how I'm feeling at this point. So I don't feel like myself. I want to be at a size where I am myself. I don't know what size that be, that'll be. I know it's not the size I am now. I want to be healthy and I just want to be able to get this knee taken care of so I can be active with my children because I really have always been an active person. I've been kind of one of those people for most of my life that can't sit, I just can't sit down and not do anything. I have to be doing something at all times. Now that doesn't always mean that I'm always running around because I'm not always running around either, but you know, I'm always trying to do something and try to be active and I like being busy and just these health issues and my weight issues, they're not helpful, helpful to that. So I've kind of come up with a loose plan and I'm going to try to do an update every week, if not every other week, depending on how things go based on, you know, just my schedule. Um, I've said this before, but obviously I have to have my priorities in a row and as much as I love YouTube and as much fun as it is for me, I definitely can't make it a priority over my schoolwork, my housework, or my kids, or my husband for that matter. So um, I really want to do it every week, but I'm not going to promise because the last time I said, oh yes, I'm going to have videos up at least two times a week, that didn't happen. And um, one of those people that's very hard on themselves when I don't keep my word. So. The goal is to get into a, a size and a weight where I am healthy enough to go forward with knee surgery and also happy enough to feel better about myself. Suffering with anxiety and then being overweight and not feeling like this body is the body that you belong in is really, really hard, like extremely hard. Uh, I just double think everything I do. I don't think anybody will like me. I mean, if I don't like myself, why would anybody like me? And just the thoughts and the things that go through my head that really hold me back are not helpful or, you know, conducive to me getting any better. And I am a non-medicated um, anxiety suffering person. I also suffer with a very, very minor case of obsessive compulsive disorder where I'm just, I obsess over cleanliness and having things in a specific way. And it gets worse when my anxiety gets worse, which also peaks my depression. And it's not good for me and it's not good for my family. And I just don't want to be that person anymore and you guys will see in my years like 2015 goals and resolution video that I'm really trying to focus this year on becoming me and I, I know that sounds kind of weird but um, I just want to be the me that I am inside on the outside as well and the me on the inside is an active person who's healthy who is involved and I, I am involved, but more involved, who isn't afraid to speak up, who isn't afraid to do so many things that right now I'm afraid to do. So here's the plan. I'm going to be upping my water intake. I drink pretty much only water with the exception of some coffee and tea, and maybe once in a while I'll have a Sprite but I'm gonna cut Sprite completely out for the year. Um, I don't, it's not something that I like, am in like, that I need. I just kinda get it because like, if we're driving and my husband decides to stop and get himself a Coke, I get myself a Sprite. Well, I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna carry my water bottle around with me like I used to. Um, even in high school, I used to carry around my water bottle with me and always have it with me. Now, an alternative to always drinking water is um, green tea. I really enjoy tea, period, but um, I like green tea iced, which I don't usually drink any other teas iced, except for uh, the Very Berry Hibiscus from Starbucks. I don't really like any other teas cold. I prefer them hot, but um, I do like green tea iced. So 
I'm gonna start drinking green tea and I've heard green tea is very good for weight loss so I mean I enjoy it so I'll give it a try um, so I'm just gonna be drinking like water and green tea for the most part I'm cut I've cut out coffee um, I basically um, just decided that I needed to stop with the coffee because it was actually making me sick to my stomach. Every time I'd drink coffee, I'd be really sick to my stomach. So I wasn't sure what was going on there, but I've just decided no more coffee for me. So just upping my water intake and I will, I don't have my phone with me, but I have um, downloaded some apps to help me track my water intake and make sure I'm drinking as much water as I want. I really want to get to a gallon a day um, I've done it once <laughs> and I was really proud of myself and I felt good that day but um, I really want to get to where that's not something that's kind of forced and it's something that's just normal for me. Uh, I bought some green tea with pomegranate. If you watched my um, grocery haul you saw it. It's really delicious. You don't have to add any sugar to it because it's already sweet and I drank that this morning um, and it was great. And it's a great alternative to coffee because it does have the caffeine so it does keep it does wake me up and you know as a mom and a wife and I go to bed late and I wake up super early five o'clock in the morning every day um, I really need the caffeine so the green tea really helps with that and I can drink it a few times a day and I really enjoy it um, my other thing is just I'm just going to be tracking my calories and tracking what I eat and just making sure that I'm staying at a good calorie intake. Now I don't know, I haven't gone to a nutritionist, I haven't really spoken to my doctor about this, I don't know what the healthy amount of calories would be for me. I do know that there's apps out there for it. Um, I've tried my fitness pal and I did enjoy it for a while but I really don't like the layout of it. I don't know, I've just had issues with it. So I did um, download a new app, and again, I'll just put the name right here, and because I don't have my phone, so I don't know what it's called. But I'm really enjoying the layout of this app, and it kind of gives me a guideline of how many calories I can eat. I don't ever eat as many calories as it says. It's like 2,600 and something. I don't ever eat that many calories. Um, I've been using it for about a week now. I'm always under calories and I use also my iPhone counts my steps so um, I'm able to kind of input that in even though it's not completely accurate because sometimes I just put my iPhone, iPhone down and walk around and clean and stuff. And um, I'm just trying to track that and make sure that I'm not eating over, ever, ever eating over that. Um, I'm trying to not eat so many carbs. Um, I really love brown rice so I'm trying to always substitute our white rice for brown rice for me and even sometimes for the kids. Uh, we are Puerto Rican, we eat rice a lot but I'm trying to just substitute it in with brown rice which I enjoy so it's not that hard for me. I'm trying not to eat as much pasta. If I do eat pasta I want to try to make it whole wheat pasta. I'm trying to really not eat, I, I really want to up my protein. I think that's a big issue with me and I think that's kind of why I don't have a lot of energy along with being anemic and having an iron deficiency. I don't eat a lot of protein. So I'm trying to up my protein and put my carbs down, 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 lower, way lower. Um, lots of fruits and vegetables, which is easy for me. Um, if I, I have to make sure that I have something in my body for breakfast. That's probably one of my biggest issues is that I skip breakfast. So I'm trying to just really make a big effort to have breakfast. So smoothies work for me. Uh, my doctor did recommend probably a year back um, brown rice pro protein powder. So I did buy that. <laughs> And um, I did, I've been using it in my smoothies along with flax seeds and I'm really enjoying, it's kind of like a peanut butter and jelly smoothie because it tastes kind of nutty so it's a great smoothie and I'll share that recipe at some point. And it's so simple though, I, I don't even know if it's worth sharing but it's, it's great. And you know, oatmeal and just stuff that's going to energize me and keep me going and that's good for me. I have to make sure I'm eating breakfast because a lot of times I'll skip breakfast and then right before lunch 
I just get so hungry that I just stuff my face and usually if I'm stuffing my face with something it's probably a carb because I'm a carboholic so I'm gonna I'm making a effort to just make sure that I'm eating a healthy balanced breakfast and um, as far as being active goes I I clean every day and I I know a lot of people wouldn't consider that being active but you are bending and 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 moving around and sometimes you're doing it at a quick pace so I consider that being pretty active just because I can't be as active as the normal person would be so I consider that being active. I want to try to start taking Melody over to a local park around here that actually has like a track that's measured out. I want to try to just start walking more and I know the doctor said 20 minutes a day and I really do need to follow that but my thought process is I walk for 20 minutes, I can sit on one of their benches for 5-10 minutes and then get up and walk for 20 more minutes. Whereas in my neighborhood I kind of have it mapped out where I can walk to that'll take me 20 minutes because it's 10 minutes out and 10 minutes back. There's not really somewhere I could sit to rest and um, we do go, like I do take the kids riding their bikes and riding their, like they have like those little cars and stuff, scooters that they just got for Christmas around the neighborhood and I that's just extra for me. I want to start to incorporate this walking at the park more because I know I could sit and rest, it won't be a big deal, and I could get up and keep going and I can kind of measure how far I've walked. So I want to do that. It won't be brisk walking, but I think any more activity that I can get into my day would be better than no activity at all. So at this point, that's my plan. Now I'm tracking everything using my phone as best I can. Um, I'm still in the process of making like my own daily planner thing, so I haven't really incorporated it into where it would be written down, but I am thinking about getting starting a journal uh, again, because I used to journal a lot, just starting a journal or a blog or something where I can kind of write down how I'm feeling and how things are going and um, definitely leave me a comment below if you think that'd be something that you'd be interested in reading because now that I thought of a blog, I kind of think that would be cool because I could look back on it um, just like a journal, but I could also share it with other people that might be going through the same thing as me. Now, um, how, what is this gonna do for my YouTube channel? Well. I'm going to, like I said, try to check in with you guys every week or every other week and just let you guys know what my progress is. I do not weigh myself all the time. I will let you guys know that now. I just happen to know my weight now because I just weighed myself before I did this video. Early, well, I weighed myself earlier today so I could do this video. Um, but, and I knew that I, I realized I dropped 10 pounds from like a few months ago when I had weighed myself. Um, However, I will be sharing you guys with you guys my process. I will try to start sharing with you guys maybe some meals of the day, like a breakfast and lunch and dinner. Um, that way you guys can kind of see what I'm eating as well as you guys can give me pointers because I'm sure there's people out there that know way more about this than me and could help me out with um, how I'm eating and what I'm eating. And then um, I just kind of want you guys to keep me accountable so that's why I want to check in with you so please comment down below and thumbs up for a great weight loss journey um, like I said I'm not trying to be a specific size or a specific weight I just want to be me and I want to be a better me and that's what my year is going to be about um, physically emotionally socially just everything about this year is going to be about being a better me, being the me that I feel like I am inside that I don't really let out. So um, please comment down below if you're on a weight loss journey too and if you have videos or anything just let me know. I'd love to um, speak to and keep track of and just kind of feel like I'm not doing this alone. And um, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.